Hello everyone, I'm Watson, and today we're going to talk about a very special device. This right here in my hand, this very tiny small device, is a fiber optic media converter. So the fiber optic media converter can help us, is a very important part to help us set up a fiber optic link. What is fiber optic link? It is a very, very efficient method to transmit data can transmit it further and faster than an ethernet cable. And today we're going to talk about how can this media converter benefit from an outdoor PLE wireless access point setup. So for setting up a wireless access point, usually we would think of just using ethernet cables to connect it. But when we want to set this up, maybe let's say deep down in the woods or far away from our main network, maybe we will exceed the 100 meter limitation. And for those who don't really understand this 100 meter limitation, well, PLE technology, which is power and data transmitting through one single Ethernet cable, has a lot of benefits, but also has one problem. It cannot go further than 100 meters. After 100 meters, we'll need a device to repeat the signal. And usually, when we repeat the signal, the bandwidth will drop. It means that it cannot process and transmit data uh, as it's like a uh, written speed, like maybe we will drop from um, 100 megabits per second down to 10 or 15 megabits per second. It will drop very much and it will affect our experience. So, what, instead of trying to extend the PoE signal, we can try to use something else, which is what we're going to talk about today is fiber optic link and since we're going to set this wireless access point outdoor we're going to need this outdoor media converter. So this outdoor media converter also is a PoE device so when we have this outdoor media converter set up we can just connect it to a PoE wireless access point like this one right here which is also an outdoor wireless access point which means it's waterproof it's totally okay to just leave it out there in the outside exposed to the rain nothing can damage it it will keep on getting constant wireless reception. So when we're using a fiber optic link, there's a lot of benefits such as first it can go further than most PoE or Ethernet connections. The Ethernet and PoE connections usually end at 800 meters. After that, the power loss or the signal decay is too crucial. We cannot tr do anything to solve it. And fiber optic, fiber optic link can usually go up to 10, 20, even 30 kilometers. If we have more state-of-the-art uh, fiber optic cables or transmitters, we can go maybe further. But as for like commercial or daily use, 10 and 20 kilometers is totally enough. And second, it has higher bandwidth. When, it go, when fiber optic link is connected, it can transmit in the gigabit bandwidth, means like the minimum transmission speed is in gigabits per second, while PoE or Ethernet connections is usually working in megabits per second, and when we go to like 700, 800 meters, it drops to 10 or 5 megabits per second, and that is really slow for current day transmissions. And also, with fiber optic link, it has less interference. We don't have to worry about its, uh, wi its cable conducting electricity because it's totally like plastic inside, not like Ethernet cables, which are copper. And it is much more safer. It has higher security levels because it's harder to intercept the signals and harder to decipher as well. Now, to set up a fiber optic link, we usually need five things. One fiber optic cable, which is really special kind of cable. There's a lot of types. We have to make sure we get the correct type. And then we need two media converters. This one is a traditional media converter, which is just basically really easy to see. Indicators here, uh, SFP module port, Ethernet port, and the power. And this right here is an outdoor waterproof media converter. This has the same features as a regular media converter, although this one is designed to be able to set up just directly outdoors, rated IP67 waterproof, meaning it can be exposed to the rain, it will not damage the components inside. It also has waterproof glands to help us tighten around the cables when we connect it inside to make sure the water doesn't leak in. Then, the last two things are the SFP modules. The SFP modules 
are transmitters. They act as a transmission device which transmits the signals to let them go through the fiber optic cable and also a receiver which will receive the signals that were transmitted from the other end. And once, what do they do when they receive it or before they transmit it? They have to use the converters right here to convert the signals mutually from digital to optical or optical to digital. Either way, it depends on which end they are on. Okay, now, since we've talked about all the good things that a fiber optic cable and a fiber optic link can benefit us, well, now let's take a look at how we should set it up. It's quite easy. So first of all, we have to get everything in hand to converters, to SFP modules, and in the cable, the fiber optic cable. And then we'll need the power source for the fiber opt the outdoor fiber optic media converter and then our outdoor wireless access point. After that, we just connect everything in. It's just plug and play. No configurations needed. First of all, we power up the end near our network source. And then we put the SFP module in. Then, right here on the fiber optic cables we have these with dual lanes we have to make sure that when we're only using one of them they have to be the corresponding one so on one end we're going to choose line A on the other end line A as well so once we plug it into the first SFP module on the other end out there we're going to be connecting putting in our fiber optic SFP module to the media converter then plugging line A to the media converter as well. So this should be able to set up the connection. And we'll see shortly if it does. And now we're gonna provide the power for this outdoor media converter and make sure that you get it correct. Then we're gonna turn on the power. And you guys can see the indicators are on. This is meaning that the fiber optic link is set up right now. This high speed internet transmission lane is connected and we're going to use the last ethernet cable to connect the wireless access point to our media converter. This outdoor media converter is also a, a PoE device, so PoE enabled. This means this PoE wireless access point can just receive the power from it. So we connect one end of the ethernet cable to the converter and the other to that wireless access point. So you can see that all indicators are on. This will mean this means that this whole network is currently connected. We can just search for our wireless access point and connect it with our mobile device and then log on to the internet. Really easy and the indicators are also a very easy way for us to tell if the host system is working properly and check the status of the connections. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.